hello friends welcome to my channel in this tutorial we learn what is laravel request life cycle this is very interesting topic and my goal of this video tutorial is give you good overview of how laravel works you can see here all of the points display in the circle first of all request goes to index then index sent to the kernel middleware service provider routes and response so let's go to the detail how it works index.php file is located inside the public directory let me show you this is the public directory and index.php is located here basically this file doesn't contain much code but its starting point of the application each and every request goes through this index.php file you can consider this file as a main door of your application this index.php file load the composer generated autoloader definition and then retrieve instance of the laravel application from the app.php which is located inside the bootstrap you can see here bootstrap directory is located here and app.php is there so this files instance created by the laravel and then laravel itself create an instance of the service container basically service container is a powerful tool to manage the dependencies and this app.php create instance of the applications and then bind all of the important interface and container to the app and then return the application you can see here now request sent to http kernel let me show you http kernel which is located inside the http directory and you can see here all the middlewares are registered here and each and every request check here you can say kernel as a check post of the request and one more thing is either request sent in this kernel or sent into the this kernel console kernel it's depending on your request type so this both kernel are used for the receive the request and basically this http kernel register and list down all the middlewares and check before the pass request to any other file and service provider basically middleware handle reading and writing the sessions determining the application is in maintenance mode or verify csrf tokens we will learn deeply in middleware later now the request goes to the service provider let me show you where is service provider you can see here inside the app directory we have one directory providers and basic five providers available here and it's given by default laravel and also you can create custom service provider and this method is run when request is good and you can see here this uh, broadcast service provider event and route service providers these all service providers are registered inside the app.php and one of the most important kernel bootstrapping action to loading this all service providers for your applications all of the service provider for the application are configured here and used here included all the service providers all of the packages service provider after laravel 6 we no need to add packages service provider anymore because it's auto bootstrapping and auto loaded so 
some basic by default defined by the laravel laravel will iterate through this list of the providers and instance of each and every service provider after initiating the providers the register method will call let me show you here is register method which is call after the initiating then this bootstrap method is called and the service provider is responsible for the bootstrapping all of the frameworks and various components such as database queue validations and routings and everything now let me show you what is routing one of the most important service provider in your application which is route service provider which is located here and you can see here for the web and api it's register in this boot method so when this route service provider initiate this boot method is called after the registration register method is called register method is not available in this route service provider this service provider load all of the routes which is located into the route directory web and apis let me show you api and this one is web all these routes are loaded by this service provider so request goes through this route and point out the controller where controller is created and located inside the http directory so we need to point out using the routes and then request goes to the controller controller do some process fire the queries into the database and return the response so you can see here middleware kernel service provider routes and give response to the index but this response goes to again into the middleware and if you want to do something into the response means you want to change something add something then you can do into the middleware and this return to the response to browser and api we have two types of middleware pre and post we will learn later so this is the life cycle of the laravel request it's very easy thank you for watching a video please do not forget to subscribe my channel comment into the video thank you